Hello, I'm Bob O'Shea. I live in Murray Hill with my son Trey. I've actually been in Maryland now and the Annapolis area for 20 years. I originally lived in the Historic District off of Duke of Gloucester, right across from St. Mary's, and was pretty involved with the things in Ward 1. I'm running for the Maryland House of Delegates in District 30A, and I have been involved in business consulting for about 30 years in the government, defense industry, and the medical industries, representing companies and helping them with their services to these industries. The main reason that I feel I want to get involved in politics and get involved with the Maryland House of Delegates is over the last four years, despite Governor Hogan's best efforts, we still have to break the entrenchment and misguided leadership of the General Assembly. Maryland has been ranked the worst tax system in the state. We currently, most recently, have become the 44th worst taxed state in the country. Maryland, 44th worst tax state in the country. We need to change this. I would like to work and support on coming up with a better tax system. I'm running for District 30A, the House of Delegates, for the reason that I believe we need to continue moving forward with the initiatives that Governor Hogan has put in place in regards to business and education. Maryland needs to strive to be a state where companies want to come to place their business, a place where employees are quality. And to do that, what we need to do is make it so that individuals have the resources to be able to learn and grow from what they already know. I want to make it so that we have those resources in place so that an individual can enrich their livelihood and make their living better for themselves and their families. Our schools are doing a disservice to the residents and the future of Maryland by not making it so that every school is equal across the board. When you walk in a school, that school should be equivalent whether I'm in Annapolis, Glen Burnie, Baltimore, wherever it may be. And to make it so that kids' education is not equal across the board is not fair to anyone. We need to make our schools safe, we need to make a comfortable environment, and we need to be able to advance the ability of the kids to learn. This also includes the teachers that are the backbone to the whole education system. I'm committed to making sure that every single tax dollar goes to the classroom and not to the whims of administrators in the different districts. If elected to the House of Delegates in District 30A, what would I like to accomplish? I'd like to make it so that every citizen in the state of the Maryland feels as though they're being treated equal. I want to feel that somebody who owns a business, someone who's an individual, whether they're young, whether they're old, in between, they feel as though they have a say and they got a fair shake. That being said, we as a state need to strive to keep our individuals that have lived here all their lives, that have gotten educations here, people that want to live in Maryland, we got to make it so they want to stay. We got to make it so that people want to move to Maryland because it's a good state to be, not because we're overtaxed or we don't have good education systems. We want a state where we can improve the quality of life for every individual in Maryland. If we can do that together without the divisiveness that comes right now with politics, I think we have an opportunity to make Maryland a place that a lot of people would want to be. And it's too bad that people can't always work together to make it so that we can't make this state a little bit better. I hope you can come out in the primary on June 26th, and I hope I can look for your vote. Thanks.